Hello and welcome back to another video. In the comments of my YouTube videos I get a lot of people ask me about my PC specs, setup and what pieces of software I use for recording and editing videos. Since I get asked this so much I thought it'd just be easier to make a video about it so I never have to answer that question again. So with my setup I basically have two PCs, one with three monitors and the other with two. The advantage of having two computers is I can still play games or work when my other PC is rendering. Previously when I only had the one computer, using it whilst rendering seemed to increase the chances of videos corrupting. My main PC which I've recently bought is a custom built. It has a white Corsair 780T case, 32GB of HyperX Fury 1866MHz RAM, Corsair H105 liquid cooling, an Intel i7-4790K processor overclocked to 4.6GHz, an MSI GTX 980Ti graphics card which is an absolute beast, a 500GB Samsung solid state drive to install my programs to, an MSI Z97 motherboard, two 2TB hard drives, a Corsair RM850 power supply, and Windows 8.1 as the operating system. This PC is quite a beast and allows me to play every game that's currently out at a minimum of 60 FPS on max graphics, which is obviously important considering my job is making videos. Both of my two PCs use 23 inch Asus VC239H LCD monitors, which look really nice and support HDMI, VGA and DVI connections. A lot of people may think that three monitors is a bit extreme, but it really helps with my workflow when editing, as I can have everything open at once. My second PC, which is the one I've recorded all my first impressions on until recently, was a pre-built gaming PC from Amazon. It has 12GB of RAM, an Nvidia GTX 970 graphics card, an Intel i7-4790 processor running at 3.6GHz, and a 250GB Samsung solid state drive. This PC is pretty decent and served me well for a long time, however it sometimes struggles to record games at a good frame rate. It will run most games on max settings and get above 30 FPS, but as soon as I hit record it drops to about 25 which bothered me a lot. In terms of peripherals you can probably tell I'm a bit of a Razer fanboy. There's not much reasoning behind this, I just think it's a cool brand and their gaming gear feels comfortable to use for me, despite there probably being stuff out there just as good for less money. I have two Razer Goliath mouse mats, one for speed and the other for control. I have two Razer Naga 2014 MMO gaming mice, which I definitely recommend for anyone that plays MMOs as the extra keybinds are just fantastic and has objectively made me a better MMO gamer. I have two Razer Black Widow keyboards. One is the Chroma with the loud keys and the other is the Stealth with silent keys. For headphones I have the Razer Krakens which do sound really good, although I do wish I got some wireless Corsair headphones instead. For face cam recording I use a Logitech C920 which seems to be the most popular choice amongst YouTubers and streamers, as it's really high quality for a reasonable price. For voice recording I currently use a Blue Yeti USB mic connected to a Blue Radius shock mount and Rode PSA1 boom arm with a cheap Amazon pop filter. The Blue Yeti is another popular mic among streamers and YouTubers, however I feel like I'm at the stage where I want to get a proper XLR studio mic for some extra crispy quality. I'm not sure which one I want to get though, so leave some suggestions below if you know anything about studio mics. My speakers are a pair of Creative Gigaworks T20s. They have great sound quality and are good value. I decided to buy them because they had great Amazon reviews. For my chair I got myself a DX Racer Max series. These chairs are really expensive but for me personally was totally worth it as I used to get a lot of back pain when editing videos as some days I'll be sitting down for 10 to 12 hours so having a comfortable chair is pretty important. For your average gamer though I don't know if it'd be worth it. My workstation is a large corner desk made by a UK company called Piranha. I bought it from Amazon like every other piece of my setup. I also have a Lenovo Flex half tablet half laptop thing which I just use to watch YouTube in bed. And to record this video I'm using a Nikon D3300 digital SLR camera with a Velborn DF51 tripod. It's a pretty decent camera although it's so loud when it tries to autofocus. For what I use it for though it does the job. So I'm pretty sure that's everything in terms of hardware and physical things, now let's talk about what software I use. For recording my screen and gameplay I use Nvidia Shadowplay which is an inbuilt piece of software that you have access to if you have an Nvidia graphics card. In terms of screen capture this is by far the best piece of software out there as it allows you to record at crystal clear quality without affecting your frame rate. There's also an option that allows you to capture the past 20 minutes of gameplay even if you're not recording. 
This means you'll never miss a highlight when gaming as long as you have this open in the background. I do sometimes use fraps but only to record the screen in WoW Model Viewer as it automatically snaps to the Model Viewer window rather than recording the entire screen. For the bulk of my editing I primarily use Sony Vegas Pro 13. I know Adobe Premiere is also really popular but I've been using Sony Vegas since I was about 14 so I feel really comfortable using it and it does the job just fine. For more complex editing and machinima I use Adobe After Effects CS6 which allows you to do some really cool 3D stuff. It takes quite a while to learn though but it's worth it. For voice editing I use Adobe Audition CS6. This allows me to do noise cancellation and apply my pre-made effects really quickly. My voice editing never takes longer than 5 minutes. A popular free alternative to this is Audacity but I prefer Audition myself. To actually record audio however I use Audio Record Wizard for things like discussions and top 10s. To record face cam I use Logitech webcam software. I used to use OBS for this however it absolutely wrecks your CPU and hurts FPS. Since switching I've had much better frame rates when recording my first impressions videos. For image editing stuff I use Adobe Photoshop CS6 and Microsoft Paint. I mostly use these programs to make transparent PNG images for video purposes. Weirdly I don't use Photoshop for making thumbnails like most people seem to assume. I use Adobe After Effects for that because it's just much faster for me as I'm more used to using it. For streaming I use Open Broadcaster software which is free to download and pretty easy to set up. I'd recommend it if you're looking to get into streaming. To record WoW models and make machinima I use WoW Model Viewer. This is free software that allows you to open models from World of Warcraft in front of a green screen of your choice. To take away the background you'd use a chroma key effect in your editing program of choice. So that's pretty much it for my setup guys, it's taken me a long time to save up for this equipment and I'm finally happy with it, there's just a few minor changes that I'd like and it's sorted. Eventually I'll probably move house and invest into soundproofing and make a badass gaming room that I can chill in. If you're looking to get into YouTube though, you do not need an overkill setup like mine. I started out with the bare basics initially. My old PC had integrated graphics and an AMD A8 processor, but still allowed me to make videos. I hope you enjoyed this little insight into my setup anyway guys. If you've got any suggestions for equipment or things I could add then leave a comment below. And also feel free to leave an imgur link of your battle stations too. You take it easy and I'll see you again really soon. Defeat Tormented Alan. Alan, why are you tormented? I can see why you're tormented, Alan. You've got a knife going through your head. Well, we could just get a doctor to remove it or we could kill you. I think I'm going to go with the latter option.